Yes. Okay. So here we'll going to see about that one network analysis theorem particularly. So what are the three theorem three theorems we'll going to learn on the today class means the Wiener theorem, Northern theorem, maximum power transfer theorem. So these three theorems we'll going to look at on the Wiener's Northern and maximum power. So why do I am saying? So if you are know about the Wiener theorem, the maximum power transfer theorem also automatically you are going to learn easily about that one. Okay. Uh, Thevenin theorem, if you are know, maximum power transfer theorem is almost it is similar. Then Northern theorem, when you are going to see about Northern theorem, it is just opposite of the Thevenin theorem. So Thevenin theorem just opposite means uh, duality only you will going to proceed here. Okay, fine. So let's we will going to go ahead. Okay. So directly, I will going to show you. Yes. So this is a part. First one. See, this is the part I want to tell to you very clearly. I want to make you to understand about that Thevenin's theorem and Northern theorem. So each theorem it consists of that three steps. Each theorem consists of that one three steps. So this is step number one. This is step number two. This is step number three. See, so here also Thevenin's also step number one, step number two, and step number three. There is a totally how many steps? Three steps are that. Okay, what is that? I will going to directly come to that step number three. I will directly come to the step number three. Okay, Thevenin's theorem as well as Northern theorem also it consists of the three steps. I will directly come to the step number three. Okay, what is the step number three? So uh, previous unit basic of network you learned about the electrical sources. Electrical sources. This electrical sources is a generally classified practical voltage source. Practical current source, practical voltage source, and a practical current source. Do you remember about that diagram? Practical voltage source, practical voltage source. What is a practical voltage source means? Source voltage source is series with the resistance. Voltage source is a series with the resistance. So this is a about that one practical voltage source. Okay, voltage source is a series with the resistance. So this is called a practical voltage source. What is a practical current source? Source is a parallel with the resistance. Source, current source. Current source is a parallel with the resistance. Means this is called a practical current source. That's all. So this is about that one practical voltage source and a practical current source. Okay, then. So in that point A B is there. Yes, in that A B point you will going to connect it to the load. Connect the load. This is called a load terminal. I will going to write R L resistance load. Similarly here, what I will going to connect it? Load I will going to connect it. That is called R L load. I will going to denote it. R L load I will going to denote. Okay. So this is nothing but the circuit of the Thevenin's theorem. This is a step number three circuit of the Thevenin's theorem. This is circuit of that is Northern theorem circuit. Step number three equivalent circuit means this is a circuit you need to draw. Then what do you want to find out? Then what you want to find out means this is a load current. The flow of the current you need to find out. That is a IL. The load current you need to find out. You need to find out the load current. So this is your main objective. That's all about this step number three. Step number three. I will repeat about that one. Step number three. Thevenin's theorem as well as Northern theorem. What is the Thevenin's theorem? Practical voltage source. Practical voltage source. So point A B is F. It is coming practical voltage source. What is the Northern theorem? Practical current source. Okay. In that A, A B point, you will going to connect it to the load terminal. Yes, you will going to connect it. So if you are going to connect it, means the circuit is closed. What is this one? Load terminal or L denoted letter or L. Okay, the circuit is closed. Okay. Then what what do I want to do? So this circuit is nothing but a Thevenin uh, theorem circuit. This theorem, this circuit diagram is showing equivalent circuit diagram. It is showing as in Northern theorem. Then what what do I want to do? Very simple. Flow of the current you can find out. The load flow of current you need to find out. Load flow of the current you need to find out. That is your work. Okay. So how to find out the flow of current in that load? That is a question. How to find out? Very simple. So Ohm's law based. You will going to close the close the circuit. I is a flow. Then I is equal to what is the formula? Ohm's law. I is equal to V by R. V divided by R value. So that's all. How many R's are there? There is a two R. R T H plus R L. R T H plus R L. Why plus? Because these two is connected in series. For example, two. This is a value is a three. This is the value of four. Substitute. So two divided by two divided by so three plus four. It's a seriously connected seven. So seven you will going to directly write. This is about that a load current. 
this is about that a load current so if i found the load current step number 3 only i am explaining load current this is the method 2 you want to find out similarly coming to here northern theorem find out the load current how to find out the load current use that one current division rule use the current division rule what is the current division rule i multiply r n i multiply r n write it the formula i multiply r n r n or r t h divided by summation of r n plus r l r n plus r l so this is a current division formula directly used to you will going to do on the step number 3 okay then what what is the purpose of this step number 1 and step number 2 that is a question what is the purpose the purpose of the step number 1 and 2 is a step number 1 of this one is a find the vth find the vth step number 2 rth step number 3 substitute into the equivalent circuit this is step number 1 and step number 2 similarly coming to here okay northern theorem also find the in or isc okay step number 1 step number 2 r n do you know r n and r t h both also same methods both values are equal okay so step number 1 you will going to find out okay here also step number 1 step number 2 you will going to find out then step number 3 directly substitute to find out the r i l see this is about the your main objective that is your main objective you are going to do on that one i l you need to find out that's all okay coming to that one uh, before i will go to teach about the step number 1 and step number 2 and see the problems first you will going to look about the statement both statements are the similar both statement are the similar then what is the difference so here is a voltage source is there that is a replace into the current source see here the statement of the thevenin's theorem i gave here the statement of the northern theorem i gave what is the written any linear bilateral network having number of the voltage source current source and resistance can be placed in the circuit diagram can be replaced by that mean by simplified the equivalent circuit so can be replaced into that one simplified circuits okay what is that circuits voltage source series with the resistance see equivalent circuit consist of, uh, consisting of a single voltage source in series with the resistance that's all if we'll going to do means that is called thevenin's theorem similarly any linear bilateral network with current source voltage source and resistance can be replaced by an simple circuit that is called equivalent circuit consisting of the current source consisting of the current source in parallel with resistance okay then next what is the value of the voltage source voltage source is a open circuit what is the value of the current source it is a short circuit that's why the value of the voltage source is equal to the open circuit voltage the value of the current source is a current through the short circuit terminal that's all this is a step number 1 step, step step number 1 so you will going to proceed okay uh, so further i will going to detail i will give you in, uh, input okay uh, <coughs> directly i will go to so one uh, simple model examination uh, uh, yes this is a simple problem you can take it <coughs> so here is a source is there resistance is there resistance is there the resistance is there there is a terminal number a and terminal number b between here 50 ohm is there so this is called a load terminal <coughs> load resistance load resistance okay step number 1 what you want i said find out the vth step number 2 find out the rth step number 3 substitute into the equivalent circuit vth value and the rth value substitute here okay and uh, what is this one the load resistance point 50 ohm you will going to write so we see that one step number 1 what is the value found 16 volt substituted yes 16 volt is substituted step number 2 what is that one r equal and 140 ohm substituted yes substituted then load value directly i have copied from the circuit yes 50 ohm a b write it a b between a b what is that one 50 ohm is there write it directly okay fine then what i want to do find out find the current that the current is nothing but it's a common current so il current is equal to i current okay so current the find the current what is the formula i is equal to v by r what is the v value 16 voltage substitute r value this is connected in series 140 plus 150 140 plus 50 then 190 substitute what is the current value 0.084 that is your main target achieved main target achieved so substitute the step number 1 and the step number 2 into the step number 
then find the current that is the only main work thevenin's theorem is over okay so let's we go deeply about how to how did you find vt gauge how did you find rt gauge that is a question how did you find the vt gauge where is a load load point is there where is a load resistance keep in your mind where is a load resistance a b across that is load resistance okay remove the volt uh, remove the load resistance yes i have removed i have removed so where is a load point you will going to find the voltage terminal this is a load point a b so here you what you want to do you will going to find out the voltage find the voltage you need to find out that's all this is step number 1 okay find the voltage between the a terminal and b terminal that is a you will going to find out this is thevenin's theorem suppose if it is they are asking the northern theorem means just opposite what is the opposite so thevenin's theorem means open circuit northern theorem means closed circuit i will going to draw here then. okay for step number 1 step number 1 what is that one northern theorem load terminal where is the load terminal remove the load close circuits so what about the remaining remaining terminals 24 voltage source is available followed by the resistance 60 120 and then connect that point and here 100 substitute the value 60 120 and here 100 okay i have here is a a terminal and a b terminal a terminal b terminal so if it is a open circuit means that is called thevenin's theorem if it is the open circuit means thevenin's theorem find out the voltage if you will going to find out the voltage what about that uh, see that the resistance is there this is open circuit so automatically no use that's why the resistance values are removed no use if it is open circuit resistance is no use so removed the resistance then find out the voltage across this point okay similarly when you are going to that northern theorem means load is a removed and closed circuits and this terminals this is a load placed terminal this is in in so you will go to step number 1 in you will going to find out through this method so vth you will going to find out this method open circuit closed circuit in you need to find out that's all very simple about northern theorem northern theorem and thevenin theorem differentiations okay let's we go one more point how to find out the voltage across the 120 ohm so two resistance are connected in series <clears throat> two methods are there you will going to find out the uh, voltage across this 120 ohm okay there is two methods available one is ohms law method very lengthy one our simplest method is what is that one okay you will going to use for that voltage division rule voltage division rule what is a voltage division rule v20 ohm it is equal to v into v into what is that one 120 okay v into 120 the resistance v into r2 divided by r1 plus r2 this is a formula then v into v is value is 24 multiply r2 value is 120 divided by 60 plus 120 that's all 60 plus 120 summation of this resistance this is a formula just substitute the formula then you will going to find out the 16 voltage vt gauge you can say about that one 16 voltage okay vt gauge that is called a vt gauge or different name vt gauge or open circuit voltage or that v 120 volt 120 ohm so like it is a method similarly coming to this point how to find out in how to find out the in in is also see that uh, how many rooms are there this is a one closed room this is another closed room there is a totally two rooms are there see here flow of the current is i1 here flow of the current is i2 okay here, this room 2 is a flow of current is i2 see my i1 i1 is a independent line or it is a common line if it is a 120 ohm means it's a common line what is a common line i1 also flow i2 also flow but when it is a in place it is a independent line only one current is a flow this this line what is the current that is current is called i2 so i write it i2 in it is equal to i2 that's all in it is equal to i2 then you will going to find out the i2 how to find out the i2 kvl kirchhoff voltage law it is used to you can find out the i2 
okay how to use the kirchhoff voltage law there is a two loops are there loop number 1 you will go and write the equation number 1 loop number 2 write the equation number 2 simplify that uh, equation number 1 and equation 2 you will going to get the i1 and i2 i need only i2 take it that's all over okay how to find uh, uh, how to write the equation on the loop number 1 then how to write i will going to write see here 24 voltage it is equal to okay 60 is a common so 60 i1 60 i1 plus 120 ohm is resistance is there so 120 open the bracket i am standing inside the room this place so i1 i2 is opposite direction so i1 minus i2 Further simplify, how many I1s are there? 60 plus 120 I1s are there. So, totally 180 I1, 180 I1 minus, minus 120 I2, 120 I2. So, it is equal to 24. This is equation number 1. Similarly, loop number 2, write the equation number 2. Then use the calculator directly, you are going to find out the I1 and I2. Take the I2 only. That's all. So, step number one is this is a method. Step number one of the Thevenians as well as North End. So, let's we move to the step number two. What is the step number two? Find out the RT gauge. Both, okay, equal and both the Thevenian theorem as well as the North End theorem, RT gauge is find out is a common. What is that? How to find out the RT gauge? So, the load resistance is removed. The point A you can start, B you can start. Okay, if it is the, in the circuit, load resistance removed and this point you can write about R T gauge. This point you will going to write R T gauge. Okay. This is step number one. Step number two. In the circuit, any voltage source is there means close it. Remove it. Close circuit. Short circuit you can do. In the circuit, any current source are there means open circuits. So, I have only one voltage source. I have closed. Over. I have closed. See that one circuit diagram is ready. Okay. Next, you can come to here. Okay, 60 plus 120 are connected in parallel. It's a parallel plus 100 ohm. That's all. If it is a two resistance are parallel, means what to do? Six multiplication divided by addition. Multiplication divided by addition. So 60 multiply 120 divided by 60 plus 120. That's all. This is the method you will going to find out the RTH. So, Thevenian's theorem and the Northern theorem both also similar and only one thing is you want to vary. So, first one, what is step number one? So, remove the load re resistance as usual both the theorems and then here open circuit for Thevenian's, short circuit for Northern theorem, short circuit for Northern theorem, that's all. Okay, and then second step is the common, both method you will going to find out the RTH, what to do? So, in the load point you will going to keep RTH, any voltage source means closed circuit, any current circuit means open circuit. Step number 3, so substitute the VTH as well as RTH into the third, uh, third steps. So, draw the equivalent circuit and the substitute and find out the I value. So, this is Thevenian's theorem. And uh, Northern theorem also, we were discussed about that one. See what is that one? Thevenin theorem. So, this is a method we were discussed. Substitute into the equivalent circuits. So, close that one resistance. Similarly, Northern theorem, substitute the step number one, close circuits, RTH, and close with the load. So, this is about the Thevenin theorem and the Northern theorem. Okay. So, let us we move to that one more theorem that is called a maximum power transfer theorem that is called a maximum power transfer theorem so before i want to go to that maximum power transfer theorem i need to know thevenin's theorem three steps what are the three steps i want to know thevenin's theorem okay three steps step number one step number two step number three three steps i needed what is the step number three that is the equivalent circuit of the thevenian's theorem or voltage theorem or thevenian's theorem what is that one practical voltage source what is that one practical voltage source resistance connected series with the voltage this is a practical voltage source okay and this is a point is a a this is a point is a b okay and these two point is connected across the load terminal okay then this is called VTH, this is called RTH, 
okay yes Sorry. then step number 1 what did you find i found the vth okay vth i found for example my vth is a 10 voltage okay then 10 voltage you can you are going to substitute on the step number 3 yes then step number 2 what did you find out rth i found step number 2 rth step number 1 is a vth step number 2 is a rth what did you find rth value like i found what is the value for example my value is a 5 ohm then substitute here okay coming to that is step number 3 okay in your load okay in your circuit load resistance value you need to write i will repeat so load resistance value where do i want to write in your circuit where you are removed the load you can see the circuit the load value they are mentioned as in 5 or 6 or 7 whatever they are mentioned you will going to write so that one you did about that thevenian's theorem thevenian's theorem but what about the maximum power transfer theorem do you know okay as similar about that three steps step number 1 is as similar step number 2 is as similar step number 3 also as similar but only one thing in your given circuit rl value never give find the rl value that is the only question i will repeat again in your given circuit rl value never give in your rl circuit okay in your given circuit rl value load resistance value never give then what they will ask you find the rl value find the rl value that is a question number 1 question number 2 what is the power power of the circuits what is the flow of the power this is a two question they will ask you two question ask you first question find the rl very simplest answer rl it is equal to r t h r t h that's all over rl it is equal to r t h what is r t h r t h is a 5 ohm 5 ohm then substitute here that's all answer is ready over rt rl i found rl it is equal to rt gets then second question find the maximum power question number 2 then you will going to use the formula v squared divided by 4 into rl or r you will rl r it is equal to rt gets substitute what is v v means this one vt gets what is that one 10 voltage 10 square 10 square divided by 4 into 4 multiplication rl value what is rl value 5 that's all so this is a maximum power you need to find out very simple one second i will repeat you maximum power transfer theorem means you need to proceed the thevenian's theorem step number 1 step number 2 step number 3 you need to complete in your given problem does rl value given no they never give you they will ask you to find out rl value then rl it is equal to rth do you know why rl is equal to rth do you know why rl is e e equal to rth it is very simple this is a teacher i am teacher this is a one concerned students for example state to state i am teach what he will do he will going to listen he will going to get all the informations okay so this is a state to state he is sitting sitting he will going to he will going to receive full information but instead of that one he is a teacher okay this is a one between one medium one mediator or one student okay one mediator or it is called one student he will going to collect my information and he will going to pass this information to students he will going to pass the information to the students what is the question okay does he will going to pass 100 percentage effectively okay whatever i said the same information does he pass to student means that is a question mark he never pass that one information so this is called directly if i am going to communicate it means so this is called directly you are going to receive so that's why rl it is equal to rth means directly you will going to receive that one total sources you will going to use it if your rl value is not equal means so that one automatically you are not receive so that's why it is a maximum power transfer theorem maximum power transfer theorem 
ஆக்சுவலி ஐ வில் கொண்டு ஸோ ஒன் டெமோ ஃபார் தட் ஒன் நார்மலி இன் தட் டூரிங் த ஆஃப்லைன் கிளாஸ் ஸோ டீச்சர் ஐ வில் கொண்டு ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் இன் மை ஹேண்ட் ஒன் சாக் பீஸ் இஸ் தேர் இட் இஸ் அ சாக் பீஸ் இஸ் தேர் ஸோ ஐ நீட் டு பாஸ் திஸ் சாக் பீஸ் டு ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் ஸோ ஐ வாட் ஐ வில் கொண்ட் டு டூ ஐ வில் ஆஸ் தி ஸ்டூடெண்ட் டு ஸ்டிச் ஸ்டெயிட் தயர் ஹேண்ட் ஐ எம் ஆஸ்க் டு ஸ்டிச் தயர் ஹேண்ட் ஸ்டெயிட் if it is that is my hand and then student hand both both also stay straight means this chalk quiz i will directly pass to the students this is called the maximum power transfer suppose i will going to see here uh, i will going to stitch my hand my chalk quiz is here but my student hand is here what will happen the chalk quiz may fall down due to that one it will going to break or losses so it take place so that is the does maximum power is a transferred means no maximum power is transferred means no but here is the maximum power is transferred okay so this is a, a uh, example for that maximum power transfer theorem okay coming to that one so thevenin's theorem you need to work out r l t is equal to r t h yes then maximum power is equal to formula over this is about that maximum power transfer theorem see uh this is circuit is there saying okay if you are know this 100 ohm then only what you will going to directly you will going to set the 100 ohm but uh, in practically what will happen this 100 ohm never know then you will going to variable resistance you know uh, this uh, this one is a uh, directly implement into the solar photovoltaic panel solar photovoltaic panel it is implemented that's all in that solar photovoltaic panel it will going to produce the power yes or no it is solar panel it will going to produce the power what is your ob- your main objective <coughs> extract the power from the solar panel as much as possible extract the maximum power from the solar panel as much as possible how to extract it that is a question how to extract it if you are know this solar panel resistance then variable resistance used to if it is then if you are no 100 ohm then 100 ohm you can set variable resistance to 100 ohm you can set but what is the question do you know it is this 100 ohm it will going to vary with respect to the temperature and the irradiation light in the 100 ohm it will going to keep on vary so that's why variable resistance used to you want to vary every time so every time not possible that's why one converter controller is take place so everywhere you can see that one solar panel it will going to produce a dc power supply that a dc power supply you may be use one uh, rectif i mean uh, sorry it's a dc to dc converter and after that one inverter then inverter to you will going to use if you have see that one one box is there what is the role of this box it will going to vary this resistance it will automatically vary to extracted the maximum power from the panel that is a maximum power transfer theorem that is a maximum power transfer theorem okay so coming to the definition maximum power is a transfer theorem state that a maximum power is a deliver from source to an load that's all if it is 100 what is a produce in my panel that 100 what is i want to utilize how to utilize what is my source resistance 1000 ohm i want to set my load resistance also 1000 that's all my source resistance is change into the 500 ohm i am also change into the 500 ohm then maximum power is i will going to extract from the so, uh, source terminal this is called the maximum power transfer theorem okay yes mm okay mm let's we move okay next model we'll go see and see that one okay then i hope you are understand what is thevenin theorem northern theorem and the maximum power transfer theorem so next we'll going to move on that one uh, different different possibilities model they will going to ask you on that one here what is you will going to see dc circuit you will going to see as well as ac circuit you want to see ac circuit means ac power supply it will going to present inductance and capacitance is present as similar on the three steps no changes as similar on the three steps no changes 
but here you will go to j will come that is called a rectangular here is a angle will come that is called a polar terms so polar term wise you will going to proceed as similar in your calculator you can use to proceed but uh, you should be strong in the dc circuit then you can move to that uh, this calculations first we will going to see about that uh, dc circuit about that uh, problems okay northern theorems also i will going to show you here uh, one model yes um, see that one we were discussed about that one so load is i have removed closed circuits once i have closed i2 i2 is equal to the in in is it is equal to i2 then use the kirchhoff voltage law okay kvl method used to i1 and i2 form the equation then i2 value i found once i found the i2 value in value it is equal to it is equal to the in value the next one is a r equivalent what is r equivalent r equivalent means load i will going to remove then voltage source is closed circuits yes so load is a ab terminal these two is a parallel then answer series with the two yes i found 3.875 then you will going to directly substitute into that uh, equation what is the uh, uh, sorry substitute into that uh, equivalent circuit what is that one step number 3 current source that is called in parallel with a resistance okay rt gauge these two is a connected across to the load point that is a a b a b so this a b is connected to the across that is a point is a 5 what is the step number 1 i n it is equal to i2 what is i2 i2 0.96 substitute here 0.96 what is step number 2 rt gauge you found 3.8 substitute i s yes, i got substituted then what to do find the current flow load current il you need to find out what is the formula il it is equal to i il is equal to i il it is equal to i what is i 0.96 multiply with a, not this resistance this resistance 3.8 divided by summation of the two resistance 3.8 plus 5 3.8 plus 5 what is that one 8.8 over simplify that answer you will going to get that one il value so this is a northern theorem okay this is a model 1 so let's we move to that model 2 yeah this is a they are executed and then they are giving them that one il i multiply r value divided by sum of these two okay next we move to that model 2 see my i here is a two model is there model 2 as well as model 3 also i am so equating what is a simplest method i will say model 2 what is a model 2 just you can assume on that voltage source is not present if it is a voltage source is present mean that is a model 3 so no voltage source if it is just i can assume so this is a, how many loops are there one two three loops are there what is that one first uh, northern theorem simple thevenin theorem when you will going to look it on thevenin theorems so you see assume it i am i am not uh, connecting showing with a uh, voltage source model 2 then you want to remove the load yes then this is a a then this is a b find it find the vt gauge write it vt gauge how to how to find out the vt gauge this resistance across you will going to find the vt gauge what is the resistance value for example 1 here 1 is there 3 is there and 2 uh, 4 and here is a, what is the value 5 so what about this resistance no no useless because open circuit no useless see no sources are there in your model 2 only i am teaching you model 3 i will teach you with the source okay no sources are there then what to do what you want to do means i need to find out the voltage across the 1 ohm yes that is my objective yes or no i need to find out the voltage across the 1 ohm what to do ohms law v is equal to what it is saying i into r i into r r value is given in your problem yes the r value is of 1 ohm substitute i value is given in your problem i uh, not given then what to do how many loops are there two loops are there as usual you can assume kvl method i1 i2 find out the i1 i2 from the kvl method 
find out the i1 and i2 kvl method after find out the i2 i2 is a flow this direction independent so i2 so i2 substitute i2 into 1 ohm that's all this is called a vth vth is over model 2 okay model 2 vth is a over what about model 3 you do you know model 3 also there so what is a model 3 <coughs> this is a model 3 source here in load side voltage source also present in load side voltage source also present this is a model 3 Uh, of the thevenin theorem but the northern theorem need not to worry you will go to northern theorem uh, either the source is present or not source is present that is does in problems but when you will going to go for the thevenin theorem this is a model 3 voltage source also present ab point what to do so you will going to connect here a b then you will going to write vth write vth what is a vth previously do you remember how did you write i2 i2 into resistance but now i2 into resistance plus voltage source also present that's all plus voltage source are present okay same write it previously how did you write i2 into resistance okay and along with the voltage source are present what is the voltage source 5 okay that 5 is a plus 5 or minus 5 when you will going to connect it here a2 by a2 b see that one okay here the direction is a plus with respect to minus means the voltage the source value is a 5 means you will going to add with the plus 5 that's all this is a vth find out method this is a vth find out method if it is a polarity is opposite means minus this is stage 3 listen my dear students i will teach you the stage 3 what is a stage 3 i will repeat to you so this is a given circuit thevenin's theorem particularly in that thevenin's theorem okay the values of 5 and then the values here is 1 is available here is a 2 available here 3 available and then 2 uh, available 4 available and then 5 available this is stage 3 why do i am saying stage 3 means voltage source are present in the load point so first step number 1 of the thevenin's theorem what is the step number 1 of the thevenin's theorem a b so remove the load yes i have removed and write it as a vth find the open circuit voltage or vth across the a b across the a b this is a resistance no use leave it so now what is there resistance and the sources are there resistance and the sources are there then write it vth it is equal to vth it is equal to here as is well you are going to find out i1 i2 my i2 is a independent line so i2 into r what is my r value 1 ohm substitute 1 ohm okay close the bracket i1 int r why int r ohms la v is equal to i int r yes okay then what is our source so source is a plus with respect to minus on the b side plus with respect to minus on the b side okay a with respect to the b a with respect to the b this is a formations error for example arrow mark a with respect to the b in that one plus with respect to minus means plus b sorry plus voltage source what is the voltage source value 5 this is a method for that one find out the vth vth is equal to i2 into r plus 5 voltage that's all over that's all over suppose here is a source is a minus with respect to the plus means what you will you do minus with respect to plus means minus 5 you can write that's all this is step number 1 of the thevenin's theorem then 
here coming to the northern theorem what to do northern theorem northern theorem means load terminal remove and close the circuit yes i have closed over the winning theorem means this one open circuit and the northern theorem means closed the circuits okay closed the circuit then what to do find the current how to find out uh, how many rooms 1 2 3 rooms then 1 room 2 room 3 room i3 find the i3 i3 is equal to independent line so in is equal to i3 over in is equal to i3 you will going to find out so over delta 3 dot by delta otherwise use the calculator directly you can substitute the equation number 1 2 3 then find out the i3 over northern theorem simple Step number 1 is over Thevenin's theorem as well as Northern theorem. Step number 2 lets we go on that RT gauge. RT gauge. When do we go for that RT gauge? Both also similar. What is about the Thevenin's theorem also RT gauge is there. Northern theorem also RT gauge. Both also similar. What to do? What to do means in the A point, B point, write the, remove the load, write the RT gauge. Remove the load, write the RT gauge. A point. B point. What is the point? A B. Okay. Then what to do next? C look the circuit in the lug in the circuit. Any sources are present mean close it. Okay, any circuits, okay, any sources, voltage sources are there means close it. Here is one voltage source I have closed. Here one voltage source I have closed. Any current source is there? No. If it is there, means open circuit. Okay, see that one, this circuit, I will going to draw here. Yes or no? Then simplify. These two are the parallel. Then series with the 3. Series with the 3. Then after that, these two is a parallel with respect to the 1 plus series with the 2. Step by step, you can proceed. The answer is a 2.81. Once you get the 2.81, directly substitute the 2.81 on that uh, equivalent circuit. And uh, then step number 1, 1.88 you found, substitute. RL value directly substitute. Then IL is equal to, you can find out. Formula, IL is it's a flow of the current, it is equal to I into RN divided by sum of these two current. Yes, over. So, Northern theorem is over, Thevenin theorem is over. This is stage 2 and stage 3 I explained. Stage 2 and stage 3 I explained. What is a stage 2? Three loops are there. Stage 3 with two voltage source are there. If it is means you, you were understand. Yes. Next stage. Let us we go to the next stage. One more problem we will going to see. It is a simple circuit is given. Simple circuit is given. Look the circuit. Voltage source is there. Resistance is there. Here is the what is that one? Uh, current source method. They are given the circuit. Okay. Find the equivalent circuit of the network only. Thevenin theorem only they are asked to you. Equivalent circuit only you can draw. What to do? First I will going to replace the this uh, what is this one? Practical current source is replaced into that practical voltage source. After replaced, A B across this is A B mentioned across. I need to find out the V T H. I need to find out the V T H across these circuits. Then what is that one? First you will going to find out the current. Current multiply with that one. What is that one? Resistance. So you will going to find out the current. The current value what they are going to found. So here directly they will write V divided by 10 divided by 15. 10 yes or no 10 divided by this addition 15 multiply with the 10 yes they are written okay so this resistance is a useless resistance i already said it's a open circuit resistance leave it about the 6 ohm <coughs> 6 ohm is a useless resistance why useless resistance it's a open circuit yes or no does a b is closed no it's a useless leave it but here you can see it's a what is that one sources are there here what is the source direction you have will see so your direction of the sources is a this type of method a is a minus with respect to the plus means minus 18 voltage you can write the same source if it is a present here means plus value if the source is a present here the value means minus value that is only you can keep in your mind sorry uh, sorry, sorry what is this one yes source is there Okay, the same source is uh, previously what we were seen. Yes, so if it is a present here means plus value. 
okay minus okay plus value here is the sources are there what is that one minus enter with that one fear vth2 enter suppose you are going to feel confused about that one very simple if you are going to feeling i feel confused about that one then you can assume like it is a source then direction current direction your assumption current direction then write it okay my i will going to start with that one vth yes or no plus vth yes write it plus vth enter into the minus terminal minus what is the voltage source the voltage source is value you will going to write what is the value so v is equal to i into r i into r so 8 3 multiply 6 is the 18 so 18 minus 18 and a direction of current and a plus 10 into 10 is a resistance into i that's all just you will going to assume close the circuit you will going to write about that voltage see i am just writing purpose only closing otherwise should not be close practically not closed that's why it is name is called open circuits your understanding purpose only i'm i will going to write this equation purpose i'm showing the demo okay practically what happen open only that's why this 6 ohm is not considered okay then after the step 2 what is that one so here is the circuit voltage source are closed voltage source are closed a b point then across you will going to find out the rt gauge then we then substitute on the vt gauge and the rt gauge that's all econ circuit is over so this is about the stage 4 stage 4 problem stage 4 problem so different different varieties are available different stages are of the problems are there so you want to know same this problem also one more problems available okay what is the one more problem i will go to in the end of the problem i will go to stop it okay what is this problem so load resistance is this two point a b point load resistance they are changed into the a b point here you can look so it's a practical current source practical current source i will go to convert it into the practical voltage source practical voltage source a b point then a b point i will going to remove that one load i will going to remove i want to find out the what is a vth it's like you can see that one it's opposite opposite direction of the sources so sources are subtracted sources are the subtracted what is the source value 1.7 that's a, that is a vth directly sources are there source across what is the value vth that is a vth that is a vth then what about the rth RTH is nothing but uh, here uh, sources are closed, closed circuits, closed circuit, sources are the closed circuits. Then step 3, directly substitute, what is that one, what is VTH 1.7, what is RTH 0 0.9, what is the load 0 0.1, closed circuits, then find out the what is the flow of current. So, wherever they will going to come bringing into the load resistance, you follow as similar pattern okay so that's all about that see one more stage one more stage also available this is a stage what is this one uh, this type of the method uh, bridge rectifier type of method they will going to give and the load resistance is a b here the same method you can proceed same method you need to proceed vth you will going to find out what is that one a b point vth you will going to find out okay So that's all these are the different stages of the problems so you want to learn in that one that's all in that thevenin's theorem northern theorem and a maximum power transfer theorem